Okay. Let's get this started. So hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am already, my name is Lauren Danameller and I have a YouTube channel. I post just informational stuff, stuff about my life and I pretty much just have a um, fitness YouTube channel. So I am starting YouTube up again. I am doing a new series because I am in prep right now. I am getting ready for my first competition of the season, which will be in thinking May-ish. So I am like 20 weeks out right now, but I wanted to just vlog my entire experience because if you look back on my um, previous YouTubes, um, I vlogged my last competition prep and that was two years ago. So it has been two years since I have last done a competition. I took two years, years off just to grow, grow more muscle, just take some time off from the stage, let my body heal, but mostly just to grow muscle. So it's been two years and I am ready to get back into it. Um, my coach actually saw like my two um, he compared like my two progress pictures from like starting of my prep in 2015 to starting now in 2017. And he said that I, it looks like I've gained at least 10 pounds of muscle. So that just shows like taking time off and like really training hard in the gym really did help me put on some size. So I'm just super excited. I was very patient the whole entire time and I'm um, just ready to get back into it and start this prep series. Um, I am not too sure what I'm going to call my series yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to call it starting from the bottom and I'm going to call it, I think that's what I'm going to call it because everyone starts somewhere, everyone starts from the bottom and you always have to just work your way towards the top so even if you're not into fitness or not doing these um, not aren't into fitness or you're um, not into competitions I mean you can still relate to my videos because everyone starts somewhere whatever your goals are it might be um, something with school or um, a job you always start you always have to start somewhere I'm just going in these vlogs I'm going to show like my struggles and how I am balancing like my college and schoolwork and job and doing this prep so hopefully watching me get through my struggles and getting through stuff in my life will help towards your life and whatever you're doing so with these vlogs, I'm going to be like as transparent as possible with you guys and I like making these YouTube series because I can always like look back on to it. So like like the other day I went through like my whole um, prep series two years ago and I was just like, wow, like I look different now. I have really changed. Um, even the way I do things is different a little bit. And I just like, I, I grew a lot in like other ways, which is really cool to see. So I'm really excited about this series. Um, something that I do wanna go over in today's video is like just my starting of like everything. Um, Cause I am 20 weeks out and I am doing a longer prep this year. Last. Um, two years ago I did a 12 week prep and this year I'm going to do a 20 week because I do have more weight to lose. Um, my coach and I are probably thinking like 20 pounds to lose because I am 140, like 143 right now and I need to get down to like 120, like to be like super competitive because I have to get re-nationally qualified again because that only lasts a year and it's been two years so I need to um, get re-qualified again so I'm gonna do that in Florida and then after I get qualified 
I am going to do a national show, which I'm so excited because um, that is like my main excited goal to do is to um, do a national level show. So I am thinking about doing the one in in South Carolina and that is Junior USA's and then there is the one in Illinois which is Junior Nationals. So I plan on doing those two shows and becoming a pro bikini athlete because I want to be a pro. That is my goal. That is why I do these competitions. That is mainly why I do these competitions. I do them because I mean, yes, I love the journey. I love seeing my body change, but um, at the end of the day, I want to be Miss Olympia. I want to um, be compete at the highest level as possible, and I get goosebumps every time I talk about it, but that is my goal, um, and that's why I compete, because I want to make it to the top, and I want to go as far as possible, but um, it's okay to like think about the future like once in a while, but thinking about it all the time gets overwhelming. So it's going to make small goals first, which is become nationally qualified and then do a national show, hopefully win my pro card. And I'm going to try and win my pro card hopefully this year in 2017. But um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes, see what happens. It will be my first first national show, so I don't even really know um, what to expect with those shows because um, I've only done two shows and they were just local um, shows where I live. So now I want to talk about my approach to everything, like my approach to nutrition and just with like this competing um, with bikini competitions and getting ready for a competition. You guys are going to see my body go through a very, very dramatic difference because yes, I am have body fat right now, but over this time period, you're going to see me get very, very, very lean. Um, and competing and getting stage lean is not maintainable. It's not like healthy really, but I'm only at that point for like a certain time period. People that are watching my videos and seeing me go through like getting super lean, uh, I just want you to know that this is just the sport that I do. So the average person out there that wants to lose weight, you do not need to get to the extreme level that I'm getting at because that is what my this is what it's all about for me. Like I need to get this certain body fat percentage to be on stage that very second and look a certain way and um, be able to see my muscles and definition. And I have to get super lean. And so yeah, if, if you're not a competitor, then you don't understand that. But if you are a competitor, then you do understand. So I just want to like make that clear first because what I'm doing is very, very, very extreme. I still want to like document the whole entire experience and process because I know a lot of people out there want to do bikini competitions and they don't really know like what to expect out of it or how it works. So hopefully if you like watch my videos, you will get a better understanding of everything. So I am going to go to the gym in a little bit and I need some carbs and protein before I train. I will usually eat around 25% of my carb intake pre and post workout. So right now I'm going to make some fries and I'll show you how I make that. So for Christmas, I got this for Christmas and it's called an air fryer and this is what it looks like and you can make um, fries so what I do is I'll cut up my fries and then I'll put them in there and it only takes like 20 minutes to cook and this thing is freaking awesome I love it I used it for the first time yesterday and I was like I was in heaven I'm like am I eating fries right now 
and it doesn't um, fry it with oil. It somehow it fries it with air or something like that. I don't know. It's really good. One raw potato. And since I am starting competition prep, I count all of my food. So I count my carb, protein, and fat intake. Um, so yeah, I weigh everything on a food scale and I use my fitness pal to track my food. And I have to do this because I am in competition prep and I need to know exactly what is going in my body. So. Um, I can lose weight and slowly my calories will drop over time and um, yeah, that's how I'm going to lose the body fat being in a caloric deficit and doing cardio, which I'll get more into cardio and all that jazz later. So I'm just going to cut this potato. Shit. So I weighed out my raw potato and it is 400 grams of raw potatoes. And then I'm going to um, spice the potato with pepper and salt. Okay, I put them in there. Okay, so here is lunch and I have the air fried uh, air fried potatoes and these are literally so amazing. I should probably maybe put some olive oil when I put it in the air fryer but I'll do that next time and then five ounces of chicken. I'm gonna put some sugar free or reduced sugar ketchup on it and I know I should have some vegetables with me but I am all out of vegetables and I need to go to the grocery store today and get some more literally so good it tastes like a french fry like it's a french fry oh my god all right i'm going to enjoy lunch and then digest and go to the gym in like an hour or two What up? Bike ride. So we decided to go outside today and get some fresh air. Fresh air. Cardio air. Some cardio. Lovely St. Petersburg, Florida. Yes. <laughs> and there's a freaking food festival going on. Oh, that's awesome. Not so not we awesome. smell like fried chicken and fried water. Yeah. <laughs> 